Well, digital disruption, of course, is everywhere now. So the customer experience, for example, be for people being able to compare, that's one. The other one is for people to rate and actually have an opinion. The third one is for people to create the product, to what's called crowdsourcing. Right? Uh, the fourth one is to socially recommend it to other people. And I think the fifth one would be something like real-time information. So when I'm in a mall, I can look up the products and they can look me up. So real-time, social, local, mobile, those are big disruptions. Well, I think brands, as, as do governments, have to realize that um, the future game isn't going to be about control, it's going to be about trust. So the, the reason that people will buy something is not because I control them, and the, people that, uh, the reason that people will do things is not because I can control them, it's because they see a reason to buy and a reason to be part of it. So trust is replacing control, and I think there will be some pieces of, of trust that will feel like control, but this is the biggest shift in marketing. Well, the biggest disruptions are already here, right? They're social media, they're local services, they're mobile devices, they're the video, video and the cloud. And I think basically the biggest disruption in general is that we are no longer inter interrupting people, but we're moving to an engagement, which is a tough message for many brands. Well, um, I think the, the answer is because the internet is allowing us to be in niches and to be fragmented. Personalization is crucial to reflect this. At the same time, there's also a good thing about being in a mass for the audience. I think we're moving away from mass markets to masses of niches. So we have many niches next to each other. And for marketers, I have to, I have to find my right niche and I have to do the right product for the niche rather than looking for the mass.